National leaders on Friday mourned President Nwai Kibeki, who died at 90, as a true statesman who steadied the country's economy. Deputy President William Ruto, who was on the campaign trail in KK Mega on Friday, condoled with Kibeki's family. He has laid the solid foundation upon which the rest of us are building and he has been a great inspiration for the Kenya Kwanzaa team, especially his focus on the economy of our country that today is our focus he said. The DP termed Kibeki as an outstanding economist. A man who has distinguished himself with a great legacy that he has left behind, an accomplished Kenyan, a man who we all respect as our third president. A person who almost all of us worked with as his ministers Ruto said. Azimi Olayumoja won Kenya presidential flag bearer Rayla Odinga mourned retired president as a man who served the nation with diligence and honesty. We have lost the third president of Kenya, His Excellency Mwai Kibeki. He was one of the freedom fighters of our country having served this country for many years with diligence, fortitude, honesty and transparency Odinga said moments after President Uhuru Kenyatta announced Kibeki's death. Rayla said Kibeki was a true freedom fighter and a great leader who valued team spirit. He added, nobody was better than why Kibeki when it came to creating team spirit and inspiring his ministers he said. Rayla worked with the late Kibeki in the Grand Coalition government after disputing the 2007 elections in a deal mediated by former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan. Rayla was Prime Minister. Amani National Congress Party leader Musalia Mudavadi who was on the campaign trail with Ruto in KK Mega, mourned Kibeki as an accomplished economist and teacher. Kibeki was a politician who stood very firm and laid the foundation for the economic fruits that Kenya is experiencing today, and indeed a politician whom Kenyans voted for overwhelmingly against all odds in 2002 he said. Kenya has lost an illustrious son, a great economist who contributed to Pan-Africanism, who stood out and worked to lay our blueprint today Musalia added. ODM National Treasurer Timothy Bosaya termed Kibeki a national hero who served the country with distinction. Kibeki has not died, he has rested. He deserves to be accorded the highest level of recognition including burying him at the hero's corner at Uhuru Gardens Bosaya said. He eulogized Kibeki as the president who rested while sufficiently clean without any scandal or controversy. Can you National Chairman Gideon MOI? who is also the Bering Go Senator, said President Kibeki will be remembered for steering the country into economic prosperity during his tenure. His focused style of leadership continues to be a reference point on how to steer a country towards recovery path. His politics too was gentlemanly devoid of sideshows that usually characterize our political arena. The country has lost a worthy leader and a brilliant economist MOI said. Former Justice and Constitutional Affairs Minister in Kibeki's government and NARC Kenya Party leader Martha Karua said, My condolences to the family and friends of the late President Nwai Kibeki. His enormous contribution to nation building before and during his presidency will forever be remembered. Our prayers are with his family. WIPA leader Kalonzo Mujioka, who served as Kibeki's vice president for five years between 2007 and 2013 mourned Kibeki as a cheerful leader with a sense of humor who portrayed a spirit of selfless leadership. Kibeki is an iconic father figure in this nation. I had the singular privilege of serving as the vice president. There are very few leaders even in the African continent with the spirit of selflessness and a singular sense of purpose to their people he stated. He would get the nation laughing by using language that young Kenyans would not be allowed to use. Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Marshall I said in a statement Kibeki will be remembered for his unique and admirable style of leadership that singularly focused on the effective management of the affairs of the nation. The retired president was a sober and reflective statesman who eschewed flippancy in public service. His legendary intolerance for political pettiness and sideshows in favor of national development priorities will remain an entrenched legacy worth of admiration and emulation he said. National Assembly Speaker Justin Muchery said President Kibeki will be remembered as a gentle but prolific leader who placed Kenya on a pedestal of economic transformation and served our nation with unparalleled dedication, a clear sense of public service and duty, for close to half a century. Senate Speaker Ken Lusekar said, President Kibeki's life is a testament that public service is a noble and extremely fulfilling calling. For more than 50 years in service, he wore various hats and did great things every step of the way. Ford Kenya Party leader Moses Vitanula recalled working with Kibeki as his Minister for Foreign Affairs, 
terming him one of the most distinguished statesmen who left an indelible mark in the lives of many Kenyans.